hey guys welcome back to my channel um so today i thought it would be a nice idea to flip through my old um week's size planner so this is my stalogy b6 stalogy that i had cut down um i had it done by a shop called pp plans which doesn't seem to be uh open anymore i'm not really sure what happened there but um anyway I think in the US you can actually buy cut down Stalogy or like to like a uh, week size, standard TN size, different sizes on Etsy or you can even take it to like a printer shop apparently and get it cut down. In the UK it's a little bit more difficult. Um, so yeah, I, I don't have one for this year. This year I'm using like a sterling ink planner but I do hope to go back to these in the future. So hopefully I can find somewhere where I can have it cut down um i did use the full year last year which i probably shouldn't have done because i definitely had like all this blank paper left over um yeah so i could have done with just half the year to be honest but anyway this is 2023 i definitely need to put a vinyl on there with um even though it has this calendar i like to have like some kind of dated thing either there or even on the front um but yeah that just put like some pretty vellum foiled vellum with my name on it and then like a little vinyl sticker as well um this um printable calendar i printed myself i just designed it on canva i kind of started just doing that last year it's really handy and really easy and i have my husband's shifts all marked on here um, I have filmed like a separate video as to why I use this planner as well as like my B6 allergy. Um, basically this comes around like this comes around with me everywhere in like a little wallet whether it's like a different cover or like my Filofax zip covers. Um, they fit very nicely um, in these and I started putting like my weeks Hobonichi weeks in here couple of years ago and then um obviously my stylogy fits perfectly in there as well um as does the sterling ink one but anyway so this is like i said um my carry around planner and also like my forward planning so i have the whole year set up in here um which means you know if like right now i only have sorry in my b6 stylogy i only have january set up um, if I want to put stuff in for like summer or um, December, which I am doing at the moment because I have like my kids are like traveling like on youth trips from the temple. So, for example, today I did put on, put in rather, I marked my daughter's trip, um, which is at the end of August. Sorry, at the end of July, beginning of August. So when I come around to setting up my B6 allergy, I already know, you know, I've got stuff plugged in here. So um, it is really great for me to have like this forward planning. Otherwise, I would be kind of lost without it. Um, but yeah, so I, I kind of have like um, appointments. Um, I also mark my husband's shifts on here. Like I'll just put like a day, like day D for a day shift or N for night shift. Um, and I'll put like, yeah, anything. My whole week, I can get a snapshot of my week by looking at this. Um, even if it's not like pre-planning, even if it's like on the day I need to put something on there, I will do it because for me, it's really important also like as a record keeping, like any meetings I've had or, you know, sort of things like that I like to have in here. And then this side um, is just to-dos or ideas or basically just, um, yeah, like if I'm out and about and I start thinking of, oh, I need to do this, I need to do that, I've got somewhere I can note it and then I can plug them in into my Stalogy like on any relevant day. Um, so yeah, when I get to like a fresh week, let's say if I'm set, I'm looking at this week um on a sunday to set up my stalogy i will always start looking at these things that i have you know on this page and that page and start thinking like okay when can i plug these in you know like um this week when do i have time so it is really handy having like a weekly overview and then also to-do list um i was using like a 
couple of bin stickers possibly because my husband was away and then it was my turn because he normally does the bins i think that's what it was i can't even remember to be honest um but that's generally when i would do it is when it becomes something that's not usually my thing <laughs> but i need a little reminder but other than that um i only use like one sort of generally a florally sticker on this side but no other stickers um because the the kind of spaces are kind of small and tight and you can see like they fill up very quickly my handwriting is not like tiny though i did have to kind of sometimes write extra small just to fit things in um pen wise i obviously like generally have a black pen with me so you'll see a lot of black pen in here if it's something that needs to kind of stand out a bit more like here i will put it in a different colored pen but otherwise it's it, sometimes it's just um even regular things are in blue pen or a bold colored pen just because that's what i have at hand um so yeah i mark like all our temple festivals on there and then i will show you i was putting um birthdays on the side here so just in the corner i would go i had gone through at the beginning of the year and put birthdays in as well which i've also set up in my new weeks size planner um so yeah i'm i'm constantly looking at this like when i'm out and about or you know even when i'm just um setting up my week on Sunday usually I set up my Stalogy for the week and I will obviously be transferring all the information that I have in here um, in there and that's sort of like a reminder because there might be things that I had put in you know a long time ago like forest dates um, my daughter goes to like forest school so forest school date this is the last day I would have plugged this in like at the beginning of the term so when I'm setting up my strategy it's just a good reminder oh yeah this is the last week you know um, make sure she brings back like all her wellies and coats and things that they kind of leave there during term time um, so yeah very very kind of messy I'm not like neat about this at all like I said I don't have any coordination for pens or like preferences i have to you know with my strategy i try to be consistent and only have like um black pen or at least like the same color pen but here i will literally just grab whatever i have at hand and um i have no problem like crossing things off and you know yeah being messy um I actually love the way it looks like a page like this where there's just like a mishmash of colors and yeah probably hardly any black in there I just love it. it to me that's like actual real time planning um you know yeah so that is lovely to look back on um and partly I was using like stickers here because I knew I didn't, I wouldn't need the whole page. You know, I, I have rarely, if ever, needed a whole page of to do's. Um, it's just, for example, if I have like, oh, I've got a call, then I might need to put something here. And this might have been done like, you know, several weeks ago. So I'm never going to have like a massive to do list because this is not like a to do list that I really add to on the given like on the given week unless I'm out and about I hope that makes sense so like if I've got my strategy my to-do lists will go in there um but this is sort of like yeah the catch-all for when when I don't have my strategy with me another super messy day here I just have like um let me just move that because I think it's making it a bit dark um sort of festival days fasting days um things like that um these i'm not sure where these month stickers are from because i was actually gifted them but they might be Ooh, i'm not sure the bows look really familiar but i'm not sure again beautiful washi tape from london gifties my little fox there so here is how i mark like any kind of long thing so my daughter was staying at um 
my parents' house, so we'll just mark that with these arrows. That's also how I mark travel as well. You'll see. Um, so here, this is when I was traveling for work. And then again, India travel here. So it just gives me a really quick visual. Like whenever I see arrows, I know there's somebody who's not at home <laughs> for that period of time. This is when we were in India and obviously I was not planning. I was just keeping a record of places that like we were going every day because I wanted to, I wouldn't always have time to sit and journal in my strategy. Um, but I wanted to keep a record like, okay, we did this, we did this, we did this, you know, like where we went. And then it made journaling like sort of easier because I could remember at least where we, the places we had visited. But I didn't have any to-do lists because obviously nothing much to do in India other than just be, I guess. And this is Christmas Eve week. I love that. That's when we got back just a couple of days before Christmas Eve. And I love, love, love this sticker so much. Um, sorry, this is also pet tape, like washi tape from London Gifties. Gorgeous. So yeah, that is that. And then I would have had like sticky notes for things that were not confirmed. So this might have been like, I think this was in October. Um, I would have put it just on this side here, but it obviously didn't happen, which is why I've, you know, just moved it here. Um, but yeah, that is how I used my Stello stello weeks um as a weeks planner and then i have a section here which was they're all quite they're all sort of tabbed with um tab tape from lauren phelps designs with the months on it this was my gardening section um so i just had like gardening jobs to do um it does say 2022 because that's when i started um sort of writing in here in my gardening section so I was already using this this previous summer of because this is my 2023 weeks but I started using it as a gardening planner earlier because I knew I would want these jobs the following August as well so I wanted to you know um like the kind of August gardening jobs are stay the same so that is why you'll see some of 2022 in there as well so that when it came to September 2023, I could just remember, oh yeah, first week I need to do this and I need to do that. I don't need to rewrite it all. Um, I did, again, leave like a few blank pages per month. Uh, not that I necessarily needed it. Um, that's December. Then I had, just before 2023, I had a list of things that I was seeing online that I really wanted to buy and have in my garden and I think I pretty much bought or managed to find everything that I wanted except a couple of things um yeah and then here I had planted my um dahlias in the garden and I wanted to remember which ones I had planted where so that when they flower or don't flower basically I can you know identify which ones they were I did put like little sticks with their names on it as well but this was just like a double sort of safety thing in case the names like faded or whatever um so yeah I had a very good flowering year this year spring onwards was just gorgeous in my garden way into like late October this year I'm a little bit slow. I still haven't um, potted. Oh, did I miss March? I still haven't potted <laughs> my bulbs and everybody keeps telling me it's fine. I have time, but I'm really not sure how much time I have. So I should probably get that going. It's just been so, so, so cold, like minus six at night and then like two or three degrees Celsius in the day um which is very cold for us um i definitely not gardening weather for me so that is it july i it's not really much to do in the garden except just kind of maintain it um but yeah and then august i would have started back there again 
So that was my gardening section again. Definitely like lots of paper not used. And then the second half of my um, Stalogy Weeks was like my notes pages. Um, I just put like a piece of vellum on there and then some 2023 thoughts. And then sometimes I would just use it as like a list. So I might have been at my parents' house this day and I was, you know, just kind of brain dumping things. Because um, like I said, sometimes if I don't have my Stalogy or I haven't set up, I probably hadn't set my Stalogy up for January because I was very late setting it up last year as well. Um, but yeah, tidying my daughter's room, things that we want to like pack up and get rid of and declutter. Um yeah, more lists, uh, researching my daughter's um, exam stuff because we do homeschool and so we have to enrol her to sit her exams in a public school somewhere or a private school um, but we have to pay fees for that so I was obviously just researching like how much it would cost. Um, yeah, in the end it was around £600 for her exams, Five. GCSEs five I think no this was just for three yes yeah, so it's about a couple of hundred pounds per subject that's how much it was working out to be anyway um so yeah that was that research um and then just exam codes and things like that sometimes just writing like a little note that I had seen on Instagram that I would really like um just clipping shots some personal things there now the brain dump, um, I don't know what that is. Uh, covering up some personal, I think that's an address behind there. Again, more to-do lists. Um, I would often have like um, lists in here that are for out and about. So like if I'm going, you know, cause this is my on the go planner. So if I'm going into town, like into the shopping center or if I'm going out to like Tesco's like grocery shopping I would put a list on here because t obviously there's no point in it being in my Stalogy which stays home most of the time um my daughter's trip she went on a youth trip to Hungary Budapest um from the temple so just the sort of details of that um I will often go through like my iPhone and write down like screenshots of things that I have that I need to kind of deal with or that I want to look up or you know whatever it is something that needs further action um so that I can kind of delete it off my phone because I have a ton of like probably like 200 screenshots um and they can get quite out of hand if I don't at least pick out a few every week to kind of process them um but yeah so that was good um, then I had a list of like places to go in London because I keep seeing like all these cool bookshops and stuff that I've never been to and I would love to take my daughter to. I don't think we made it to any of these places last year but we will this year. Um, I don't know what this is. Okay, uh, more notes, more lists, hair care rosemary water for my hair again more screenshots so these would be like something okay watch you know something to watch um something to buy something to do like f you know to buy feed for spring plants um paid off my student loan that's great um more quotes more exam info little vinyl stuck stuck there more lists and then car insurance details. So this kind of stuff goes in here only because um, I can have access to it all year round if I need, you know, so like in January or December or whenever it is, this was obviously done like I think end of May or June time, but I don't want this getting lost in my Stalogy somewhere. I want this kind of information in here so I can have access to it all year round. Um, more list just some ideas of things to print and foil quotes i saw this list of like ai tools and what it you know like the different websites of different ai tools and what they do and while i'm definitely not into ai like i have used chat gpt so so much for planning my trip um because we are doing like a road trip for a couple of weeks me and my daughter and my sister um in europe 
and we just didn't know where to begin so while i'm not into ai <laughs> i do have found the benefit of it um for certain things so you just can type in like plan a two-week road trip for me that includes you know switzerland austria belgium germany blah 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 and includes the specific like places there that you want to visit and it will give you like a whole breakdown like day one to day three go to belgium visit these places and then day four to day six go here and it's just incredible like it's like having a personal holiday planner um so i definitely see the benefit of it although it does still kind of i guess freak me out when we talk about ai replacing human beings um but yeah so i just kind of wanted to check out some of the rest of them as well to see but i never have like i've never actually got around to um doing any of these i also generated some um using chat gpt which is really the only one i've ever used i said on there just as an experiment like i have a planning and journaling instagram account give me some um what did i ask for some ideas for reels and posts and it came up with some really great ideas actually um like how to's and sharing tricks and blah 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 you know i think i even posted it on instagram but um yeah so not bad i don't know why i think i must have forgot that i have a uk travel list already somewhere because i started a new one <laughs> um a couple of stickers just again some stuff that i wrote down um then i was catching up on my sticker a day memory keeping and i was just writing down like the highlights planning my daughter's 16th birthday party um this i transferred quite late like probably half like in yeah half the year in um which i've had in my previous um over each weeks which is my master grocery list um i do all my food shopping online i absolutely hate going to supermarket to the supermarket so i have my like everything that we usually buy listed here and when i do my online shop i we have like a list like a blank list pay note paper on the fridge that people you know will write on so they might if we've run out of something like laundry powder my husband might put it on there or whatever it is you know the, the person who last uses it or can see that we're coming to the end of something it's their responsibility to put that on that fridge list so when i do the shop i can grab that list um, but there are also things on a day-to-day -day basis that, you know, might not make it onto there. Or I might think, actually, we've got guests coming around, so I might need more of this. Um, so this list just serves as a reminder, like, oh, actually, yeah, let's pick up some, you know, ginger. Because nobody's going to put ginger on the list necessarily. But I might be like, oh, I'm going to, you know, use a bit of ginger in my, like, Indian cooking this week. Um so yeah, any th I have it by sections, I ha and I'm going to transfer this, or I think I've already transferred it into my new uh, weeks already. So I have like fridge stuff, freezer stuff, fresh, uh, like fruit and vegetables, uh, pantry stuff, uh, well, baking stuff, pantry stuff, kitchen stuff, bathroom stuff. That's how my brain kind of sections things. Again, more hair stuff um i do have like very like nice curly hair but i've never learned how to look after it and how to take care of it properly until like the last year so i've been like i was watching a lot of like instagram videos on how to yeah uh what kind of products to use and some ideas of specific products to try out um, and it has made a huge huge difference like i just love my hair now <laughs> um more quotes testing out fountain pens again here as well i think this is something i filmed for instagram just to show the different uh, of my favorite fountain pens planning a trip to paris um because i took Vishaka for her 10th birthday to Paris on the Eurostar and I had promised Ishri that I would take her as well for her 10th birthday um but I think if I remember correctly it was either during Covid or just immediately after Covid 
so we never got around to it she's going to be 13 this year and she's adamant that we have to make it so i was just researching but i think we're going to wait till it's like spring um maybe even around her birthday time in april and then go i mean it's very reasonably priced to get to paris for us um yeah so just looking at that um again more quotes And then it's a list for town, things I want to get, shops I need to go to and things I want to get in there. And then some notes from a um, sort of like a spiritual class that I was listening to on YouTube and I wasn't at home. I'm trying to remember, I might have even been in my car and I was just really like, wow, this is really great. Um, and just started taking some notes and it ended up being like four pages long. Uh, planning some child protection training for our temples in Scotland, for example. That's obviously my area. So um, I was asked if I could come and do some training. I didn't end up going in January. Um, and then planning my sister's baby shower and Christmas list I love these sticky notes from Muji where sometimes I'll do meal planning um, and then a list of things to film before like sort of putting away 2023 planners for good and that is it I don't really have stuff in the back um, yes this can come out as well um, yeah I was just using it for pen testing um, here I was just tr testing out the layout for these whether I wanted to write the names like horizontally or vertically sizing out the boxes um, yep basically more pen testing and you can see like quite a bit of blank paper left um, so definitely I could have done with half half a year strategy um, and that's probably what I will do next time but yeah that is my Stalogy Weeks Planner absolutely loved using that um, I am gonna start taking out some of this stuff because um, I don't need it in here anymore and I can definitely reuse this one has like traveled with me from every week to week so I think I'm going to just leave her in here as a little reminder <laughs> um so yeah this is definitely ready to be put away now that i've done this flip um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that and thank you so much for watching if you have any questions definitely drop them in the comments below um, and i will see you next time take care guys bye